Hi, David Campanile here, owner of Campanile Law, located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate. Today's topic is about where should you store your estate plan. But before we dive into this topic, if you have any questions pertaining to estate planning or probate and want to schedule a strategy session for free over the phone with me, contact me at njestateattorney.com or above or below is a direct link to my calendar where you can schedule a day and time that works best for you. So today's topic, where should you store your estate plan? I did this video a while back uh, and I think it's just time to uh, you know, remind people. So um, every time after clients sign their documents with, with uh, my firm, what we do is we have a discussion of where these should be held. And um, usually the first thought is a safety deposit box or in a safe. And I advise, I basically tell my clients, um, you know, that really isn't the best place for your estate plan. Um, a safety deposit box is what it is. It's a very safe, inst it's in a safe institution. Um, and only the person who, or people who are on the box can access that box. Um, and if somebody else needs to come in, that person needs a court order, uh, basically telling the bank to open the safe safety deposit box. So, um, usually not the best in a crunch time. Let's say there was a, uh, a car accident or something and somebody needs to get your power of attorney, um, or a medical power of attorney living will, uh, it's going to take a little while to, uh, get the court order and get that safety deposit box open. Uh, so not always the best place, not the best place. The other place people talk about the most um, is a safe in their home. And again, it's in the name. This is a safe place. However, usually there's only a couple people that know the code. So again, if you were in a car accident and somebody needed to grab those documents quickly a uh, safe really isn't the best place, especially if they don't know the code. Um, they're probably going to have to hire a locksmith or somebody to break the safe to get it open. Um, and who knows if the locksmith will even do it if, since it's not really their safe. Um, and they can't prove that they live at that address. So really what I do is, um, and how things happen, is after you've signed your uh, estate plan, uh, we put it in the computer, we scan everything into the computer, and then what happens is you go home with your originals and a copy. Um, and I basically tell my clients, look, put it, and it also comes in a binder, so you could pop it on a shelf, you could pop it in a filing cabinet, um, and it will say on the front, estate plan of, like mine says, estate plan of David Campanile. Um, so, and you can just let people know, like, hey, if something happens to me, my estate plan is located... Um, in this part of the house. Um, and the perk of our estate plans, there's no social security numbers. There's no, uh, bank account information. There's no, you know, financial information, uh, Bitcoin. I mean, the list is endless, but there's no private information that you should be concerned of. It literally is the plan. Um, so, um, there's nothing to be concerned about storing it in the home, in your office, in a filing cabinet, somewhere on a shelf in your home. Um, because if somebody takes it, it's literally just your plan. Um, and uh, we've had some instances where client something's happened to a client and um, what happens is an individual can't find the plan, they contact the office, we can give them a copy, but some institutions, hospitals, um, uh, the surrogate's court, sometimes they may not take copy and they want that original. So um, then what's going to happen is you're going to have to proceed like there was no estate plan. Uh, there was no plan put in place. Um, so basically, uh, this is more this video is more of just a uh, PSA of, uh, you know, when deciding where to store your will, your excuse me, your estate plans, don't put it in a safety deposit box or a safe Keep it in your home, easily accessible, even if it has to be next to like other important documents, life insurance, uh, long-term care insurance, health insurance, somewhere uh, where you know other important file uh, documents are kept. That's fine. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please subscribe. You're missing out on some great estate planning information that we bring to you uh, on a daily basis. If you know somebody who's contemplating estate planning or probate or may have questions about estate planning or probate, share this video with them. Tell them you were thinking about them. 
If you have any questions pertaining to this topic or any other topic in estate planning or probate and you want to schedule a strategy session for free over the phone with me, contact me at njestateattorney.com or above or below is a direct link to my calendar where you can schedule a day and time that works best for you. As always, my name is David Campanile. I'm the owner of Campanile Law located in the state of New Jersey. We handle estate planning and probate.